Nick here, various these customs. Today we are molding some one tenth scale uh, flares. So we've got them done in four different widths here. We've got three mil, six mil, eight mil, ten mil. Uh, obviously, each car you're going to need different widths. Uh, some 190 mil bodies you might want something a lot wider to fit some of the standard drift rims, which are quite a big offset these days. Um, I haven't actually seen any companies that actually sell these in different various widths, which I thought someone would, but I had a bit of a look and everything sort of seems to be set at sort of, you know, like a three mil, nothing really too much wider. So they're pretty basic mold. Um, once again, PLA plus mold done in a fabulous green today, just the color I picked out. Uh, it's just done in 0.2 mil layer heights and then it's sanded back with just some 80 grit and go through to 100 and then finish it off with a uh, wet and dry sandpaper just to smooth it right out. Now, you don't have to make everything perfect. As you can see here, there's still ribs here. Obviously, all that's going to get cut out. So we just worry about making sure the flares themselves are smooth. Uh, where all the bolt holes are, are actually also holes for uh, vacuuming through. So we know you're going to get a nice suction in through all of these little vents through here. And just one in the middle. And obviously, each of these parts has got like a bit of a chamfer to help sort of suck the air so it doesn't get trapped and pulled in too quickly. Uh, we probably could have fit a few more on there, but we decided we're going to sell these in pairs. So then you can have different width front and rear. So let's get a sheet on and we'll see how it goes. So once again, we are using the pre-cut stuff from Vacuform. This is a half mil PET G sheet. Um, we could probably go thinner with these. We could probably go down, I think they do something smaller than this. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there is a size down from this. This is probably a little bit thick, but at least you know it's not gonna break. So we go through to PET G. Um, 0.5 mil, push button. I've already loaded the sheet and let it heat up. Nearly up to temp again. Once again, very easy. Tells you when it's done. You hear the fan kick in, you know it's good to go. Wait for to get to the magic number. Just pop, pop the seal off. We'll be back in a second, we'll remove these and have a look. Right, so these parts here, as you see, they've come out nice and clean. Numbers are easy to read, so we know which is which. A um, couple of little webbings on the corner, but they're sort of out of the way. It's not really too much of an issue. Um, it's come out, you know, as I'd expected. Obviously, you can see the marks that we didn't bother standing out came out, but the rest of it's nice and smooth. Um, any little marks you normally do see, by the time you paint them, it actually fills in, and it's very hard to see them. So don't get discouraged if your mould doesn't look perfect because paint hides quite a lot unless you're going to leave it clear but obviously these won't be clear um, so if you guys want to check out this machine link is in the description i always get people asking how much it is and just go check it out you got to remember at the end of the day this is a tool not a toy so the price is probably higher than what you expect you know the likes of the 3d printer um, you can build one if you want but you're going to have to spend you know months and months of research and trial and error whereas this machine's got everything dialed in you know, as you can see on the screen here, it's got everything preset. You've got PET G, whatever the PMA, that's, that's your polycarb, HCPE, polypropylene, kayaks, which is one I've actually researched and I'm interested in try. EVA, so obviously a foam, and then you can preset your own stuff. So it's so much easier. You don't have to take your guesswork out. You dial in the thickness, what temperature you want, and it sorts the rest out. So it's well worth getting if you're interested in making your own parts. I mean, obviously it doesn't have to be RC parts, it could be chocolate molds, it could be anything you want. So once again, link is in the description. So head over to the Vacuform site for the machines and their pre-cuts at sheets that they already sell to, which makes life a lot easier than having to get your own. So check it out. Until the next video, have a good one.